Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all my August favourites and I'm doing a bit of a fashion and beauty favourites like I have been for the last couple of videos. I'm going to get started with my fashion favourites and to kick that off, one of my absolute favourite things this month has been this little kitty card case from Charlotte Olympia. This was a huge splurge for me um, because a couple hundred bucks is quite a bit of money to spend on a card case which is essentially just a couple of bits of leather but I've had my eye on this for such a long time and I'm really pleased that I picked it up. It's got it's such a beautiful quality, really nice leather. It's um, got that cute little kitty face on it and it has a few card pockets. I've got my opal card sitting in the front. There's a pocket in here, although I don't actually know what I could fit in there. It's got gold, like leather in there and then I've got my bank cards in the back and all the rest of my other cards and bits and pieces I've got in my little card case or coin purse which I tend to carry around with me a lot as well but this is kind of great because it's really forced me to minimize all of the bits and pieces I carry around and just keep it to the absolute essentials. The next piece that I have to share with you all is it completely at the opposite end of the scale and it is these black ballerina flats or should I say pointed toe flats from ASOS. I picked these up um, not too long ago and I've been wearing them quite a lot. They are getting a little bit worn at the toes, but these have been great because they're actually really comfortable, which I was so surprised with because I tend to find that synthetic shoes really hurt my feet. I've got very wide feet, so that's part of the reason why I always tend to buy leather. Um, but these have just been really great and they're only around the $25 mark, so I was pretty pleased with that. I'm not really about to go and purchase a whole heap more of really affordable shoes just because I do prefer leather, but I do think these have been really great as a bit of a placeholder for now. So my last fashion favorite for the month of August is actually something I picked up off of eBay and I tend to shop on there kind of regularly because I find that you can get pieces which are brand new or maybe just worn once, which that doesn't really bother me and they're in absolutely fantastic condition. So I got this Kind of, it's a kind of a patch skirt from Philip Lim and it's got this really cool kind of grey detailing trim around the waist, zip up closure and it actually has pockets as well. It's got these little zippers here with pockets. And I kind of love this, like I've been wanting the dress of this for such a long time and I was so pleased to come across the skirt because it's going to be great as it's a lot more versatile. I can wear it with so many more different things like mixing and matching the tops, that kind of thing. And it's so comfortable, it's very flattering, it comes just above the knee on me so it's a very good length as well. Um, as always with Philip Lynn, you do need to size down so if you do ever come across this, yeah, um, I would keep an eye out for it because it is such... A great piece and it's going to be perfect for that transition between winter to summertime. So on to my beauty favorites and this month I have been absolutely loving this really cute vibrant yellow makeup case from Karen Walker. These are kind of like a vinyl and it has a bleeding rose pattern embossed on the fabric and I actually got two others with the set. I got a really big blue one, navy blue one I think, and then a smaller red one and I think they're just going to be perfect for travel. But this one's been staying in my bag every single day and it kind of helps to make sure that my makeup doesn't get all ruined and destroyed while it's in my handbag. And I absolutely adore this polka dot lining. Like, isn't that so cute? I think it's really sweet and I actually put all of my other beauty favorites for the month in here. So I'm just going to pull them out. Uh, so my next favorite is from NARS and it's a new blush and this is their blush in the shade Gina and I really really adore this. It's kind of a pretty apricot peachy tone. I picked this up after going and getting a makeup application at Mecca Cosmetica ahead of Luke's birthday dinner. I took him to Guillaume in June. So I've had this for a little while and I've been wearing it so so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like it's just such a nice kind of summery shade. You can see it there but it's just one of my favorites at the moment and I've been really enjoying this. Charlotte did make it fall on the floor so it's got a bit of a dent in the product but yeah I really like this and I like the fact that it's completely matte. There's no shimmer or sparkle or anything like that to it so this is a really great blush and it's very pigmented. It's got a great payoff and the um, product itself is just really smooth to the touch. This next favorite I've had for such a long time and I thought I didn't like it anymore, but it is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. Now I uh, use this for ages, this was my holy grail, and then I kind of discovered the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I decided I preferred that one, but this one actually I think I like better. 
Uh, I have been doing my eyeliner differently. I used to kind of hold down my lashes and then draw the line along my upper lash line, but now I've found that I can just actually draw it like this, which is bizarre. Um, it did take a bit of practice, but I've gotten there. But I've been loving this because it's got such a soft kind of felt tip nib. It does stay all day. I actually found in the past it used to kind of come off a little bit, but I'm wondering if it's because it's dried down a little bit, the product has gotten a bit more long wearing. I'm not really sure, but I really do love this and I think it's worth the money. And I'm really keen to try out some of the colors actually. There's a really pretty navy one and navy eyeliner seems to be all the rage at the moment. So I'm very tempted to pick that one up and give it a go. But yeah, this is just a really great pen applicator eyeliner if you like that sort of thing and you're kind of in the market to splurge a little bit. So my next favorite is a perfume and it's this rollable perfume from Elizabeth and James. This is the White Nirvana rollable and oh my god like i just love the smell of this it just smells like musky springtime it's really sexy it's just got such a nice deep floral fragrance and i adore this i love the fact that it's in a rollable packaging because i can just throw it in my bag and put it on the scent lasts forever like it really lingers which i like um you could probably see the packaging is just destroyed which is actually the reason why i got one of these but yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous and I like the fact that, you know, it's smaller so it means I get to try the scent and I don't have to have so much product because I've got quite a few perfumes so I don't really want to have a whole lot and then waste them. So yeah, I just really like this packaging and yeah, it's just, oh, it just smells so good. <laughs> Now my last favorite for the month is a lip product and you guys know that I'm a complete lip junkie. I don't know what it is about lipsticks but I can't stop buying them. And this month I have been absolutely loving the Too Faced Melted Lipstick and this is in shade Melted Peony. So this is the liquefied longwear lipstick and it's got this kind of like doe for applicator and the product just squeezes out. Mine's pretty messy looking. But this is just absolutely stunning. It's such a pretty like pale you know it's a slightly pale pink i never thought i would like this kind of shade but i think it's really pretty and i think this is going to be great for springtime i've been wearing it a lot even though it's winter i've had this for a while and yeah i really like the formula of this it dries down quite matte but it is very long wearing and it feels very comfortable on the lips it almost doesn't feel like you've got anything on your lips at all so i'm really keen to try out some of the other colors i tend to wear more neutral tone lipsticks so i play it very safe which is why i haven't really managed to bring home any more of these they always seem to be sold out at mecca and online but very keen to try out some of the more neutral toned lip colors that there are so those were all of my favorites for the month of August. I would love to know if there's anything that you have been loving this month. Write it down in the comments below. All of the products will be listed down there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.